Hello. This is Shiva again in Jonathan, aka the Matrixers. Today there is a next part on questions about the light trap. Hey, did we switch reality? Apparently. Well, let's move on. Yes, let's continue. Okay, so we come to the next question, which is reincarnation. What are the alternatives? Exit matrix. Or just to get to another matrix. There is not only one matrix, but many matrices. And also many prison planets. I've seen thousands, thousands. And leaving the matrix, there are many ways. But there will certainly be a separate video about it at some point, probably. Because there are a number of options. In any case. Next question. What happens if everyone refuses the light? Whereby the light is a portal to the higher self, so that means that many of the deceased are stuck here. Yes, there are many deceased stuck on the intermediate level. Yes, there are many deceased who, for example, do not know that they are deceased. Or that they are deceased. There are many there too. However, they are usually sought out by angels and helpers from the astral plane and led back into the system. So there are many deceased people who just don't know that they have died. Most of them are rationalists or are very scientifically oriented and don't believe in life after death at all. They are then also difficult to convince that they have died. And they are often collected by angels and spirit helpers, if at all possible, and fed back into the system. You have a good example. Something happened to Paul? They didn't want to go into the light either. Yes, but they knew they died. But they hang and they are also on this intermediate level. The two were called Paolo and Mora. And they just didn't want to go into the light. And they also said that angels come by more often or entities that shine very brightly. And they just tried to invite the two into the light but they doubted whether they should do it and then didn't do it. But that's a whole different story. As mentioned, one story is that there are people who have died who know that they have died and they are usually collected again. And it often makes sense to do so. Well, we're not saying that the matrix is bad, or the whole matrix system with the angels and beings of light in the beyond. We're not saying, it's a choice, a decision. And maybe, one can tell right away why it is good to take the souls away from the intermediate level. Because the topic also comes as a question. This is related to the ascension of the earth. And so it's important to get the souls out of the intermediate area? Because he is not vibrating very high. It's just above the 3D level. Yes, you could say they're blocking the rise of the earth. And so when you're in the in-between, you should decide pretty quickly, either get back into the matrix system, or look for the loopholes that will get you out of the matrix. It's all self-chosen and not a trap and you can only end it yourself. Otherwise the whole concept of Earth would be a trap and not a high-intensity learning system, right? Since the spirits argue, I would say, the others consider it as a learning system. The only question is, what should we learn as perfect beings? Because we are already whole and we were already perfect. We're really just here to play, aren't we? I mean, and even if it were about learning, we actually did all of them at the same time, because everything exists at the same time and therefore, 
Yes, when we were detached from Prime Creator we were perfect. Or should one say, the Prime Creator was imperfect and the souls that split off from it weren't perfect either. And, yes, that's a question what do you evolve into on Earth? In the Earth Matrix? Actually just back to what you actually always were. Correct. So that means we came here perfectly, handed our memory over to the gate to develop, to learn. But where are we headed? What do we learn actually? Just forgetting the amnesia? Getting rid of amnesia to go back to who we were before. There is development in the sense of development. It's actually just a game. The soul plays, you don't really have to develop. Development is actually an illusion within the matrix. So you can't really see the earth as a trap, because we all wanted to come here on purpose to play the matrix game. We weren't given everything that was truth on a silver platter, but it's been said, that's the way it is folks. You can do this now or not. That's the best way I would describe it, but I have to say, I did learn one thing in the Matrix. If I ever get off another Matrix and they say yes to me, but one condition is that you discard the memory of your previous time, then I say no. I would then remind you. Next question. Why should the light trap have been uncovered now on the internet and not through the hard, decades-long work of, for example, the Mono Institute and their explorers or shamans and mystics throughout human history. First of all we have to say that we have had experiences ourselves. We have experienced it ourselves through near-death experiences, dreams and in dissociative states. We've just seen and perceived it and actually experienced it live. And that's why we want to bring this across to you. Yes, of course there are also Monroe, Ramtha or various others, who we then researched after our experiences who of course have already revealed it. Yes, Monroe, for example, talks about pipelines that are there that he has seen, where all the energy, all the lush, as he called it, has been transported away, via light pipelines into the big light in there, to higher levels, most likely. And all the energies were transported via the pipelines or transported away the tunnels of light. And you can read about that in Monroe. Who else do you know there? Ramtha, of course, also told it in great detail, including the whole story of creation, the light trap, and how to escape from it, etc. Yes, Ramtha is also a good address, I would say. But it is also clear that many do not want to hear that because they have been indoctrinated by the church for centuries. The light is good and the dark is evil. Well, that's why this topic is only now coming up, and 20 years ago the internet wasn't that widespread. It's a lot easier now. The knowledge is ancient. Think of Castaneda, for example, and that's where you find it, that it was about becoming a warrior with Castaneda. And the warrior fights for absolute freedom. And he was an old shaman. And he was a shaman. So you can read about it there. His instructor, Don Juan, was an Indian, a shaman. So there is enough literature to confirm this. You also have to read that there are at least some sources of knowledge that point to the same information. Then we would have the next question. That sounds so easy. That means all you have to do is die and go to blackness to escape the matrix. I think that was partially answered in the first part. It's easy in theory, but not in practice, of course, because you have to remember your true self to know who you really are. You must remain conscious enough even when dying. It's also just that you know you're dead and then you can make a decision. Yes, at least stay conscious enough during the dying process that you change as consciously as possible. Whether it is enough to go into the black, so. Hmm, 
I would say yes. The problem is the seduction of the light. It is very intense and very strong and it also feels wonderful. The light with its radiance. I would say so. You have to convince yourself. Stop the process of going into the light first. I've met high dimensional portions of us as well. They were so beautiful and full of light and I hugged them and it just felt like salvation. Practical. It's not. Yes, no one disputes that. This is also about the dualistic matrix. And of course there is the bright light. The beings of light and, of course, beings of the dark. Of course, when you see such a wonderful being of light standing in front of you. This is of course very impressive. Most impre- And then suddenly someone stands there and says go into the darkness so that you can get out of the matrix. There you see the beautiful light and the beings of light. That's when you start to have doubts. And that's why it's not so easy to just say yes, ciao, I'll go into the dark now. You have to pull yourself together. Well said. Next question. As far as I know, Monroe, Bullman, etc., help the souls to come into the light. Are they all wrong? No, but we have, or you already explained it earlier, that they are in the intermediate level and have to be taken out of them so that the intermediate level is free and the earth can rise at some point. That's the way it is. The earth wants to rise, and the emptier the intermediate level, the better. And if you then of course then 35,000 deceased walking around in it, who don't know what's going on, what's the plan? Yes, then you bring them into the light first. Maybe they'll collect enough information to be one step further in another incarnation. The problem is that they are quite low frequency. There are the deceased and they must be able to be brought to the middle astral plane. so that the earth is free to rise through the intermediate plane so that they are not held there by all these dead ones. Then we come to the next question. Hello Matrixers, in most of my dreams I am a sorceress also in lucid dreams where I leave the body. Can you also do magic on this level after death or make a wish to prevail against the Toth journeyman? Yes of course. You are spirit you can grow infinitely, conjure up everything. Basically they can't do anything to you, and they can't force you to stay in the matrix either. And they won't make a big fuss because of a soul. Because the thing is when you have one million in the account, don't mind if you're missing one euro or something, is clear. And they can only threaten you or scare you or make you go back. or going in the direction that they would most like to see you in. But they can't kill you. They can't kill you anymore. You're already dead. And then the question goes, can I maybe make myself taller? Exactly. You can do anything and everything will be. You are a ghost and can intimidate the guards. And how do I manage to assert myself there and get away? Likewise. Yes. Let's Continue with the questions. Do we have another one? Yes. The next question would be. And why are the guardians letting you tell us this? Isn't that a bit counterproductive? Or does one of them have pity on us poor people? Well, we had already answered that we are simply not important enough for them to be interested and that we don't even have the reach to convert everyone not to go into the light. I think we're not important enough. So once we get 1 million subscribers, or 2 million, or 3 million, that's going to be critical. Then we will have reached critical mass. Then we'll have reached the critical mass where it might be the end of the story for us. But I guess the small range that we have, I don't believe that. After all, there are almost 8 billion people in the world. And if 10, 20 slip out of the system, who cares? As I said, again with the million and the euro. Nobody cares if the euro is gone. With a million in the account. 
but if we die a mysterious death, you'll know. The next question would be, should there be more love in the 5D and should we have more possibilities? It's not like that at all. Yes, it is like. Yes, of course you have so many more options on the mental plane. One is much more free natural than on the 3D level. Of course, then everything is much more loving and high vibrating and beautiful for you. Yes. One could almost call it an exciting and gigantic endless adventure playground. So it's not bad to be there. That's not what it is about. There is a lot of light and also a lot, a lot of love vibration. It's not like that. You're just. Next question. What if you get Alzheimer's disease and can no longer consciously leave the earth and unconsciously choose the light? So to speak, one would always be doomed to hell, unconsciously guesting in 3D. So when you die, you detach yourself from the brain and Alzheimer's is gone immediately. So that's it. So you don't necessarily drag Alzheimer's to the intermediate area. Not that one. But we all have Alzheimer's anyway. Yeah, but that's how we all have Alzheimer's, right? Well, that's called amnesia. Or reality Alzheimer's. We don't remember. Or even Alzheimer's. Even all time. This means that we don't remember our true selves. And when we go dreaming at night. And there we also have Alzheimer's. We forget that we just went to bed and we're in some dream. Walking around somewhere in a city or somewhere else. Meeting people we seem to know there and not even remembering that we were just lying in bed. And the next morning you don't always remember what you just dreamed about. Well, totally fucked up. So the next question would be, if I make it out of the matrix, do I still have the option to go back in if I want to? Well, there are two things to consider when you really ascend, that is, when you take your body with you. I once saw how this works, in a dream. That's pretty exciting. Then you can come back to earth because you have a body and then you don't have to incarnate. But once you incarnate, you have to get into a body, get a personality and an ego. And that's just not the case with Ascension. Thank you.